Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Anita Stories. In this video I'm going to show you how to make slime with toothpaste without glue and without borax. It's very easy and these recipes are amazing. All these recipes were suggested in my videos down below in the comments. So thank you very much guys for suggesting these recipes. For the first one you just need to use some toothpaste of course and then you can add a little bit of salt. If you have any recipe to suggest just write write it down in the comments below and I can do it in my next videos. So you just need to mix the toothpaste and salt. Then you need to close it. You need to put it in the freezer for one hour and then you need to let it sit for around one or two days. If you want me to test more recipes remember to leave a like to this video. Let's see how many likes do we get. And this is the result. I was really happy with the results. Just make sure that you do all the steps that I mentioned. So for the second recipe, toothpaste and a little bit of baking soda. Then just mix it. And then you need to put it in the freezer for one hour and then let it sit for one or two days. And this is the result. I was super happy with this result. So for this other recipe, you can add toothpaste and baby powder. Mix it with your hands for a while. It's better if you wait for one or two days as well as the other ones, but for this one I didn't wait much. And this is for the result. It's not that great as the other ones. It's still a little bit sticky and it's kind of a mess in my hands, but you can stretch it. Let me know in the comments if you have a variation of this recipe so that I will try it. For this other recipe I'm using toothpaste in gel and then I'm using some shaving foam. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite slime. So you can add a little bit of dish soap as well. I just wanted to add a little bit more of consistency. Then you have to put it in the freezer for around five minutes. And I was really excited because I saw that something was happening. But unfortunately it was still very sticky and still a mess, so this one didn't work. Let me know in the comments if you tried this recipe, if it worked for you, how you did it, what ingredients did you use. For this other recipe you can add some toothpaste and gel or you can also try with the normal to white toothpaste. Then add some water and some tapioca flour that you can find on Amazon. Then mix it all together.
Then you can put it in the microwave for around 15 seconds. And this is the result. Unfortunately, it was too hard because I added too much flour. Thank you very much, Evelina Aksoy, for this amazing recipe. So I'm going to put two different types of toothpaste in my bowl and then you can start mixing them. Then I'm adding a little bit more of toothpaste because it wasn't enough. Then I'm adding some baby oil as the recipe. And some salt. Then you can use some shower gel or face wash and then you need to put it in the microwave for a couple of seconds and in the freezer for around 15 minutes. So uh, this is after I removed it from the microwave, from the freezer, all the ingredients got together. You can see the tooth, the blue toothpaste and the white toothpaste. I was really surprised, it was still a little bit sticky, but if you continue mixing it with your hands, it will feel totally like a slime. I really love this slime, so thank you very much for giving out this recipe. The secret word of the day is stretchy slime. So if you watched the video until now, just write down in the comments stretchy slime without saying that it's the secret word of the day. So for the second recipe we have Jennifer Camarillo that is suggesting shampoo and toothpaste and thank you so much for saying that you love my videos Jennifer and thank you for your recipe. So I'm doing a little bit of a vari variation because I don't have enough shampoo. So I'm using dish soap and toothpaste that I'm adding a little bit of salt. As you can see it looks like it's coming together the slime already. I'm adding the shampoo now, you can use any shower gel or face wash. And then I'm adding a little bit of shower gel as well, so that it, the slime will be bigger. I'm still adding a little bit of salt. Then after mixing it for a while you can add some baby oil as well, this will prevent the slime to be very sticky. And then you can put it in the freezer for around 15 to 20 minutes. And this is after I removed it from the freezer. I still added a little bit of salt, if you see that it's still sticky, just add a little bit of salt. And this is the final result. Thank you very much, Jennifer. It looks like a jiggly slime. It's very nice. So thank you so much, Jennifer, for this recipe. 
I really hope you liked this video. Let me know your recipes down in the comments below. And remember to leave a like and thanks so much for watching.